<laughs> there are three potatoes we're using in this video. And here's the thing that you need to understand. What is that? Lots Josh? of different types of potatoes. You've got your mashing potatoes, you got your boiling potatoes, you've got your roasted, whatever. They're all, roasted potatoes to me are a great all purpose. They're very starchy though. Some potatoes yes. are more waxy and they're better for like mashing and some are more starchy. Great Russet for frying. Is, Russet is the frying one. Like the red ones are good, they're like a little more waxy. Yukon Gold is good for mashed potatoes. Yukon Gold's a nice all-purpose, it kind of falls in between. Yeah, but if you want the crispy, you gotta go with the russet. So the first thing, the waffle iron hash brown experience uh. is incredible. All you do is you take a russet potato and you just shred it up, right? You shred it up in one of those shredder things, whatever they're called, <laughs> cheese grater. Grater. And then you squeeze out all of the moisture. There's a ton of liquid in those potatoes. Yeah. So you wanna squeeze You're that You're not out. gonna get crispy if you don't squeeze yeah, out the juice. Get crispy. You're gonna get soggy. And then I just tossed a little bit of salt in there, got my waffle iron hot, put a little bit of oil in, and then just pushed in that potato mixture. And that went all in, then closed the top. And you kinda of forget about it. Until... You forget about it until you need to turn it because the bottom of most Waffle makers are going to be a little crispier. So we flipped it about <laughs> half the bottom of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> we flipped it about halfway through so both sides get equally crispy. But look at these things. We plated it up, sprinkled on a little cheese. We might have flamethrowered that cheese a little bit. Yeah, we hit it with the bar the barbecue sauce is, you know, that's sort of an imitation savory maple syrup. <laughs> exactly. This is like eating waffles, but you're eating and then potatoes. a little bit of scallions. Can't so forget the crispy. Skies, Bubby. Probably the crispiest way to get potatoes without deep frying them. Oh. <laughs> crispy potato bits. This is a great little hack if you're vegetarian or you just, you just don't like eat. crispy stuff. You like crispy stuff, you don't eat bacon. It kind of mimics those little bacon bits that you can sprinkle in your dishes. I took a Yukon Gold potato and sliced it up into these little, little chunkies like that. Put it in a pan and just added some oil, salt, and pepper. Roasted that in the oven at about 400 degrees to start. Got them crispy on one side. Took them out and just keep turning them. Keep tossing them every few minutes. Then towards the end of the cooking process, I turned the oven down to 350. And what this is gonna do is kind of dry the potatoes out a little bit and just brown them completely through. Because when they come out and they dry, they're gonna be crispy, but they're also gonna have a little bit of chew to the inside, just like your delicious bacon. Those things are awesome. You can sprinkle them on soup. I had them on a salad. salad. Is good, yeah. great. Just a great replacement to that crispy bacon. Get the crispiness. Everybody loves potato chips, but damn, making them homemade can be difficult to slice if you don't have one of those fancy mandolins. Trying to get like the exact size. Yeah, because they're all, it's, it's just, it's a mess. So what we did was we took a peeler and then I just stuck one fork right into the end of the potato and just peeled the living shit out of that potato. Just sliced it up, keep peeling it until you get down to the very whittled end. Those things go directly into water to remove some of that starch and then we're gonna dry them off nice and then we're just gonna deep fry them at about 350 degrees or just like medium hot oil until they turn crispy, not too brown. Mm -hmm. You still want some of that lightness too. in there. Take them out, of course you salt them, drain them and then serve them up. Josh, what you're saying they taste like the Lay's potato they chips? They gave me an offer I couldn't refuse. What? Uh, this guy's not even they taste, they taste like, uh, kind of like those Lay's baked. Remember when like potato chips were the thing and then they came out with like the baked ones that were yeah. better than the fried? They taste like that. But Delicious. they're fried. But they're fried, but they're better. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they taste like they the baked like ones, the baked, but they're fried. Yeah, they're okay, fried. they taste like the baked ones, but they're fried. So they're the ultimate. Fuck the Hasselback potato. <laughs> I've seen it like a thousand times. I've had it enough people. I get, it's a really cool idea. Aggressive. It's a cool idea, but I've seen it so many times. I'm like, just somebody give me a break. And it got me thinking I couldn't, couldn't bring myself to the level of doing the Hasselback. <laughs> so I did the Sonic potato instead. It's the Hedgehog, <laughs> the Sonic the Hedgehog potato. And basically what you do is you take a rusted potato and you slice in. What I did was I took some chopsticks and that actually helps to line up so you don't cut through the potato. You don't want to cut through the potato. So either be careful or put some chopsticks down to get like the level. So if you hit the chopsticks, you know, you've gone just far enough. And then I kind of cut the potato every, you know, a half inch, quarter inch or so, cut it through almost like you're cutting like French fries, but you're not cutting all the way through. And then you turn it around and you cut and again, you're making a grid that has these squares in it. Then sort of gently, carefully open them up, 
add some oil, add a little salt, a little pepper, and just toss that in the oven about 400, 425 degrees. Halfway through, you can sort of baste or like put more oil mm. onto it. You can add some more salt because it's gonna start to slowly open up. Oh. And then you cook it again. It, it cooks for overall on like 45 minutes. It, it takes a little bit of time. No big deal, we've all got the time when we need the time. <laughs> and then... <laughs> and then... Uh, we have got the time. When we need the time. You just gotta give yourself the goddamn time. Don't tell me you don't have enough time to cook something out of your busy life. You know, what are you doing, running for president? I don't think so. All right, so then you take that out. And then in this case, I thought it'd be fun just to hit it with a little bit of uh, mayo. And then some, I think I use like some scallions or some kind of green thing on top of there. The thing about the mayo, with french fries, mayo, a lot of people use like the truffle mayo or the mm. mayo, it's delicious with french fries, so I thought you top that. You can add whatever you want. Like I could have made it like a bon me hedgehog thing. Delicious. This guy's trying to bond me everything that ever. Uh, you can't call I, something bond me just because you had pickled veg and cilantro. I have bond okay? me everything. <laughs> okay. Bond me my car. Oh, this, this, so this last one, uh, oh it, boy! It, funny story behind this last one. We were struggling to find a tent that we thought was really good and mm. creative, and then I remembered I had seen this video that Jacques Pepin and Julia Childs had did, and it was these. Mm. What they a call them like duo. puff potatoes or mm. souffle potatoes. So I was like, we can figure out how to do this, right? So we watched the video. We kind of tried it out. Um, basically, what you do is you take a peeled, like rusted potato, you mandolin it about an eighth inch thick to these like pieces, you soak it in water for like 10, 20 minutes, whatever, pat it dry, fry it at about 275, 300 degrees for four or five minutes. And then you're supposed to put it in like 375 degree oil really quick and it's supposed to puff up and it looks really cool. You basically just explained everything we did that didn't work just to let work. you know. So some something in that <laughs> process did not work out. I, I don't know what, but it didn't work. <laughs> I fired it too. Woo! A lot of potatoes today, but... <laughs> But uh, worst case scenario, you try it and you get thick cut potato chips. So they weren't <laughs> bad, but if someone knows how to actually, maybe you need to go to French culinary school. They're really, they're like, to actually do that. They're one. like panty dropping delicious. Like, I mean, you see Julia Childs, you're not dropping panties, but, <laughs> but uh, you're like pulling them up. But uh, <laughs> they, when they, they, they puff up and they look amazing. It's like this crazy puff, it's just a potato, <laughs> but <laughs> I don't do shit, man. That's your, it's your own ass. Farting out of your own ass, not mine. Uh, Mike keeps farting. Gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, earlier today, Mike's like, hold on, I gotta go to the bathroom. And he just grabs a pair of tongs. And I'm like, what? What the hell could he possibly be doing with a pair of tongs in the bathroom? Pulling out? That's <laughs> like the self And then that led into another great line that you're not actually taking a shit. You're, you're leaving. You're not taking it anywhere. Where did that come from? It's, it's not taking totally it Totally leaving it. It's leaving it dumb. You're not taking it anywhere. <laughs> um, so Back to it. Yeah, so back. So anyhow, it's supposed to look really cool and puff up and be this awesome, delicious thing. But it, it screwed work. up. One of those steps screwed up. Yeah. So. And I felt okay showing it to you guys and not doing it right because most channels get everything right because they need perfection. But clearly in the Brothers Green, we're not into the perfection thing. We're into the realness. And we screwed up. So there you go. <laughs> there you go. That's that's our 10, uh, 10 Patatsky recipes. Hope you guys enjoyed. Write down. Let us know your favorite one. Like. Subscribe, you know, we've got Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, they're all pretty much Brothers Green. Uh, it might be a <laughs> some small, might be a BK in there or something. <laughs> Check that all out. Uh, we are not high and drunk, I swear. We're just having a good time on camera. If you wanna see guys high and drunk, check out Trailer Park Boys, great mm -hmm. show. Or Custom Grow 420. Yeah. That guy has a whole channel on just getting high. That's impressive. Yeah, check that out. <laughs>